Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. This is one of our reaction videos. Well, as we said last week, we were going to take a look at the NHL logos and give you our thoughts. As you can see on the screen, we have our first one up. Um, but before we do that, uh, go check out our videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Um, yeah, there's there's no sponsorship. This is a... Um, um, yeah. I'm sorry, this is an editorial. I thought we were talking yeah. about our sponsor, Hockey Locker. But... This is an editorial. We're we're doing this off the cuff. We're giving our personal opinions, and we don't want any of our sponsors to basically share that burden. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, let's share the burden. Oh, God. So, up first, we have the Winnipeg Jets. Check, please. Not a fan. I, I do not like the upside-down leaf. It's not even a leaf. It's barely a leaf. It looks like a burst. It looks like it's on fire. It, jets on it fire. just looks like a splotch of red paint. What, what blew up the jet, top. everybody? Not oh, wait, it was the first franchise, but the Phoenix Coyotes. Never mind. Oh, good God. Uh, Gary anyways, Batman. we give this a fail. I like it. The Capitals, I like it. It's a nice logo. I it's like an it. okay logo. It's okay. It, there's too much open space, but... Like, this is one where I think they could have gotten a little clever with the Capitol, like the Capitol building logo. Yeah. But anything is better than what they did in the 2000s. With that eagle. With the I eagle. I don't know eagle. I no, the, I'm, cool. I'm not talking the about the first. I'm not logo. talking about the this second. Just words. Wait. I'm not talking about the second eagle. I'm talking about the very first one with yeah. the little stars in the tail and all yeah. that. And they would just kind of. That was, but that was actual logo. That's not just words. But I still like this. I like it. You guys might not, but I like it. It's basic, boring, and bland. But I do like it though. The the Knights logo? Yeah, basic. I mean, there's two. There's. It doesn't look enough like a knight. Also, it, it they looks don't, more like a gladiator. For the <laughs> most part, they don't even use black. They use this. What is it? They use the the silver, don't they? Yeah, for the jerseys, so they're silver. So why are we why are we not using black to be the shadow? Why aren't we using red if that's what you're going to use on your yeah, jerseys? Okay, yeah. The, don't get me started on the third. Or, or why yeah. isn't the black silver and then the silver red? Yes. Yeah. But I do like the logo. I'd give it a pass. I, I'd give it a pass had they done more. Yes. All right, but I'd give it a pass. I'm, like I'm the indifferent on it, but then again, you know how much I hate Vegas. Eh, it's all right. It I, doesn't use green. It doesn't use green at all. Like, they, their color scheme is blue and green. Where's the green? It's just blue. And yeah, where the eye is, they could have made that green. And then, like, right here on the fin, they could have threw some green, green in there. But yeah, Or even the outline. Well, there's no reason to use white. You could just use green. Yeah, just get rid of the white. Next. Classic. Better. Yeah, it's a classic. Way, way, way better than what they had. It's better than the sharp point leaf that they used back in the day. Yeah, but then again, I kind of have the sudden urge since California legalized weed to uh, change it green. But yeah. but that would be a throwback to the uh, St. Louis or the uh, Toronto you know, like, St. Louis. This version yeah. better than the white leaf with the blue letter? Yes. Uh, yeah. It's not the Toronto Ninja leaf anymore. Next. It's, it's basic. It's a, I like their original it's basic. logo better. The, the reason why we didn't have this on a transparent background is because it's impossible. Yeah, like, you, you can't, can't even see it. Yeah, it would disappear. It would. This one is one that I encourage that they need a border with some in some way. Yeah. It, it, like their their team colors are just so basic. It's only blue and and white. They've tried with third logos and oh look at that. <laughs> you can see what we're dealing with later. <laughs> Classic logo, don't do anything with it. If anything, just get rid of the navy, go back to regular blue. Yeah. This logo needs an update. Yep. I'm sorry, it needs one. Get rid of the triangle. Stop trying to copy the penguins like the ducks did. There's no reason for the triangle. The stick should be brown because it is a hockey stick. And... You could even put a black that, hockey a stick. Even the. Because most carbon fiber sticks are black. So. I'm using a local team reference here, but with the Milwaukee Bucks, even they weren't tempted to put blue in the eyes. Why are we putting orange in the eyes of the of the of the of the shark? They just wanted to get artsy. Well, you could just put white in there. You could have. You could have made the shark 
Like, you could have put, like, a lighter shade of green in there, even. Yeah. Yeah, but, more of a sea foam. Or green, just make it, just, just make it teal. Yeah. Next. <laughs> well, okay. Same Chris, issue as the last one. Chris, okay. and, Chris and I talked about this one. I said that the reason that I'm okay with this one is that this is pretty much the same club logo they've had for, was it, over 50 plus years now. They just made brief alterations to it. However, they fixed this logo completely by ditching the gold. Yeah. There was no reason for them to switch to gold other than saying we need to spruce things up because every team from the mid, was it the mid 90s to the late 2000s was doing it. Like, yeah. oh, ditch yellow, we gotta go gold. Ditch gray or, or white, we gotta go with silver. It, it, it's, this is way better than what it was. Yeah, agree. agreed. Next. Classic. Classic. You can't do much with Never it. Never changed it, ever. No, of course not. They made brief alterations to it. So, day. apparently they're changing the Ottawa Senators logo in 2021. We just broke we, it. We just looked it up. So, apparently they're changing it. Okay. We don't know what, but I, I like it because I like the Trojan look, but... I, it has nothing to do with Senator. Well, yeah, the Centurion logo, where it makes no yeah. sense. I always thought I always thought that they got it wrong because they kept calling him the Sens. Someone forgot to tell him it was not S, it was C. Yeah. C for Centurion, not Senators. But then again, this is a team that's based in Canada's Canada. capital. That's where they it. spell it Centurion. Classic Centurion. logo, can't do anything with it. Don't ever go back to the stupid uh, Statue of Liberty logo ever again. Yeah, it's unless a, a natural logo. disaster happens again. Yeah, then, then you can that. you can you can bring that back. But that was the only reason but, they did it in the first place. But never ever ever. Dude, do they made... had that logo before 9/11. What you talking? But about? never. They no, they didn't. I thought they had that when Gretzky played. No. Nope. You sure? Yes. Okay. Right, never, next. never do Navy ever again. Right, same, same with the same. Islanders. As a, it's I like the look. Just leave it. Don't tinker with it. Don't do. Don't that get rid of the NY. And yeah. Just get, just anymore. do better with the NY, and you're or good. Better yet, just do one where because we are already doing full out Islanders in orange. Just do New York. Just do a New York orange. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's supposed to be like the uh, Mets. Classic well. the logo. Devils, don't like change logo. anything. Just install green, please. Yeah, like the green should be where the wire Go is. back to green. Classic. Classic logo. Can't do anything with it. All I'm right. Let, okay. That's a cool logo. Let's get into like. this one. So this is the logo where we they thought that they needed to do more red one year. And that's where we got the Christmas jerseys. As I like to call them, where they're going primary red. Yeah. This is a logo where I'm going to announce to people, just because the logo has the color does not mean your jersey needs to embody all Oh, yes, let's like add the yellow for the moon. Yeah. Yeah, right. That should, let the, honestly, so you know the cream border that they use here, the aged white? That should be the moon color. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect enough. Or better yet, make the, was it, the only thing that should be yellow in this thing is the North Star. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that should be yellow should in this. technically be like a silver or white. But the reason why I want the, the the North Star to be yellow, it's because it's a nice, it would be even more of a better homage to the Minnesota North Star. Yeah, true that, because they're color. All right, right, I'm ready for it. Uh, the, Louis, the Louisiana Kings. Everybody, do we know where L.A. keeps their team? Or where, where are the Kings, everybody? Louisiana. Louisiana. Louisiana? Okay. That's where they are. <laughs> It's boring. Go I'm back sorry. to the Gretzky era or just, logo show. Well, I, don't, I have a problem with those even because I hate typed out, I hate typeface logos. The Anaheim Ducks did the same thing. So and it was just in your theory, they should just go with the crown? Then, yes. Or yeah. just maybe alter the color? Or better yet, just go back to their purple and yellows. Those were weird, but I they don't have a weird, problem. But they were weird. It makes me think Minnesota Vikings, but okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, God. That's why I don't want that purple and gold. Next. Next. Florida Soccer Club. Go, go back with to your the, original go logo, back, Go to your, uh, was it your shoulder patch Yeah, logo? the shoulder patch Panther looks so much better. And it was the primary beforehand. Now it looks a lot better. This does not belong on your front. Oh, yeah, this looks like a Puma, not a Panther. Yeah. Uh, no, it looks, logo. again, I said, it looks like a soccer All right, club. next. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes it. Next. Classic. Classic. Don't touch it. Yeah. Classic, don't touch it. I well, do like the wheel. 
the yeah, wheel they do slower. alter the wheel a bit, but it's still a classic look. I do like because it is the Motor City. City it does have a nice. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't try look. to put a little Caesar's pizza in there. Okay, <laughs> can, <laughs> we, can, can I can I do one mention before we click off of this? Okay, <laughs> dear Detroit Pistons. Do something better with your logo. I know we're talking NHL here, but if the Detroit Wet Red Wings can do something, you know, that sticks the test of time, you guys can do a Pistons logo better than they that. don't make cars in Detroit no more. They make pizza. But anything's better than a stupid P for a logo. Good point. All right, next. Board. Boy, hey, who, get, who knows where the stars are located? Everybody? I don't know. They're located in a D, maybe. Uh, Denver. <laughs> Detroit. Are they located in Denver? So this is one where they have the shoulder patch where it's well, is it, it's the Texas it's the Texas shape, and they have the star on it. There's no reason for it to have a D on it. There's no reason. Yeah, There's the no star reason. would have been perfect. That, yeah, there's no reason for a D on here. It's so cold this, in the D. This this this, <laughs> this this logo gets a D. <laughs> right. Next. And this one gets an F. <laughs> okay, but we just talked about the Texas Stars. This is a better logo than that. Yeah. How do the Columbus Stars, I mean Blue Jackets. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. The Columbus Stars. But it's yeah, patriotic, I he guess. He uses the Columbus City flag, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't and know. And that's... It's, I don't know again, the details. It, it's, a, it's better than Dallas. So Nashville does the same thing with the, the guitar pick with the city flag, but they're not promenading it. So, yeah, this one's just like, oh, we couldn't really fit anything with a blue jacket. All right, next. Okay, logo. The Nordiques logo is better. It's all right. Yeah. It looks. It is what it is. It, it's exactly an avalanche. That's all yeah. it is. Yeah, it, I'll I'll give it a pass. The snow going around the A is one of the best things about it. Yeah, I don't classic, like the team, but classic, it's a classic but, logo. Classic, but I don't like. Go away, Chicago. Go away. I think you're referring to the AHL mode, which we'll be getting into later. Oh look, it's the Carolina toilets. Stand thing. back! It's a hurricane no, coming through. No, it's the Carolina bloody toilets. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Well, okay, so so we sat here and talked about it. If you did a look at this, and you look at a hurricane, when you look at a hurricane on a meteorologist map, you do not see red and black. You see red and yellow and green and and uh, yeah, what's blue the connection and Carolina red and black. I I just don't know, but I I know that they use blue for the Panthers. Yeah, yeah. blue and black. Yeah, or teal more accurately, but yeah. It's, it's a, a good logo. Look. They fixed this up so much from the Atlanta logo, because back when they were just the Atlanta Flames, it was a standard 70s logo, but this, they fixed it up a little bit. I prefer the white hot flame, because the white hot flame on the red alternates looks so much better. Yeah, and I prefer the black flame with the red outlining. Yeah, I, there's so many different variations. This is the one we, we went with, because it's yeah. their home one. But the black one, I wish they would use the orange trim. That's the one argument. Again, less white on, on a jersey is better. I like it. It's okay. Although, what is it? They got a new logo coming? That's what we're hearing. But again, there's... Or at least an alternate logo, anyway. Yeah. They're coming with a new chest logo because they want to put this on the shoulder. Uh, Which, this would be... I like As much as I like this logo, that it's a better shoulder crest. But it's still yeah. a nice crest. I like it. They're only using this because of the historical fact of it. And the 50th anniversary year. Yeah, year. you can't. Okay, Let, let's get. Uh, That's a classic. Yep, it's a wagon wheel. Yep. Oh God, don't make me start singing that dang Darius Rucker song. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. You can go on now. <laughs> All right, next. Ew. <laughs> what Bring is back that? The psychedelic which, coyote. which college team did you pull this from? Yeah, right. The uh, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's a funny-looking Cardinal, but I'll, I'll take it. But Next. When, well, you wanted to talk a little bit about the, the third jersey, though. Yeah, I want the Psychedelic Coyote to come The Psychedelic back. Coyote, or what is it, the, the native style? I yeah. Guess, the native art style? It would make more sense. It would. To the culture in that area. Yes. Yeah, exactly. That it, makes, and it again, looks nicer. What is this. the purpose of a logo? To be unique. What are you team? trying to do? Make the logo look like the ground out there? I've been to Arizona. The boring. ground color of Arizona is literally that cream color of gravel and then the red color of gravel. Also, why are the teeth cream like the fur? I don't 
I don't get that. Yeah. And then why is there red in the mouth? It's just yeah. a boring logo. Right, well, right. we could quack this one away. Um. Okay, let me get into this one. As much as I like the Mighty Ducks logo, which is one of the best... No, no, NHL... these ain't the Mighty Ducks. These are the Ducks. Well, yeah. As much as I like you the... You need to get Mighty again. As much as I like the Mighty Ducks logo, as it is the one of the best NHL logos to grace the NHL, this one isn't as bad to me as long as they don't do the stupid Anaheim Ducks word print again. Because yeah. this speaks for itself. It's a duck foot and a D. It works. However, it using orange again. Why are we using orange? Why are we using gold? Just use the regular duck colors. Oh my god, there's a huge D in front of us. <laughs> okay, anyways, next one. That's it. Sure? Alright, so as we did in our last video, we chose, we said our worst, we said our favorites, we picked our tops. So, alright, we're going to start. No. No? No. No? No. You're not going to pick another logo? Oh, do I have to pick, what are we doing first, bests or worsts? Worst. Oh, worsts. Top three, go. Carolina. Top three worst? Yes. yes. Carolina. Oh, man. Arizona. And I got to say the Dallas Stars. I'll go Arizona, Dallas, and... I'll go with the Kings. Yeah. Okay. All right. For me, it's top three worst are uh, da Dallas, um, Anaheim, and as much as it pains me to say this, we forgot Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> Dude, that's the second time we've done something like this, so we keep How did I forget episode. Nashville? All right. Uh, do we have to do the whole video over again? Yep. We ain't doing that tonight because I'm going to sleep if that's the case. I can go see if I can pull it. You guys uh, carry away with your favorites. Oh, God, we're the favorites. Well, I like Minnesota's. Minnesota's got a nice one. Like, again, like... As long as, like, because the logo itself is fine, it's just they don't need to incorporate every single color into the jersey. That's my issue. And I like Edmonton's. Yeah. Uh, that has a nice classic look. Do doesn't the new one have a ring around it, though, now, too? Yeah, it Which, has, like, an orange ring. It, right. get, it just helps it pop more. Yeah. And then the I third one, I'll have to go with, uh... Eh. Kind of like the lightning, but it is kind of plain. Yeah. It's, like, to me, it's the better of the two Florida teams. Yeah. All right, for me, so this is where it gets hard because there are a lot of good NHL logos out there. But, um, so I'd have to, like, again, if I had the choice, like, Oh, man, I wish the Ducks had the Mighty Ducks logo back. Yeah, no, right. Don't it's we all? Such, it's such a good logo. They just need to pay the price for it. But, um... Oof. I'd say it's the Detroit Red Wings because you can't beat a classic, you know, original 16 logo. I at least want to get one original 16 in my top three. Yeah. And that's one of them. Like, even though their team is not exactly the best right now... That logo still stands the test of time. And thank God they haven't inserted an octopus into it. Which they do <laughs> all the time on the ice at, at Hockey Town. It is annoying. Um, it's almost as bad as the catfish. And we all agree the Predators logo is cool. Well, so. oh, yeah, like, again. We're all right, well, there you go. That's <laughs> Hopefully we can get through one of these logo videos without botching it. <laughs> Dan, uh, what, what were you going to say about this one? All right, so this logo, uh, the one reason I really do like it is they do add uh, an incorporation. If you notice it, there is a small music note in the eye. Oh, it's like a flat? Yeah, it's yeah. a flat note, which is really cool because Nashville's Music City. Yep. But, I, mean, um, I like the logo just because I like the whole saber-tooth tiger look. Well, a lot of people don't know the history of that, too, was back in the 70s they found 
what is it? They actually found a sa- remnants of a saber toothed tiger. Yeah, when they were uh, building the arena, right? Yep, and at the time it was called Gaylord or uh, Gaylord Entertainment Center. Yeah. So just like little cool factoids, and thank God they picked Nashville Predators because there was like names like Ice Cats. Oh, you know, ice tigers or something. I'm like, thank God Bridgeport took that one. Or no, they're the sound tigers. Excuse what me. What the a sound tiger? We'll, we'll get an, to that later. Well, it sounds annoying. Hey, well, not tonight, but you know what I mean. But um, so for my favorite logos, I said uh, Detroit Red Wings. Um, I've got to go with the Calgary Flames on it because they improved a logo. And it's also another good Canadian team that's standing the test of time, even though how many arenas they've been with bad luck. Um, and the last one, this is where I'm going to hate myself because I'm, I'm stuck on this one. I got to say it's the wild one. I got to say the wild one does a good job of it because, yeah. It's a nice logo. It's a nice I mean, logo. It's a, it's a really cool logo. All right. So for me, my top three are the Leafs, just because I like the way that they do theirs currently. They improved it from going backwards and then going forwards and then going backwards and forwards. No more Ninja Star or no more Ninja Leaf. Yeah, Ninja Leaf. Yeah, that was horrible. Um, Buffalo, because they improved theirs from the Buffa Slug. Um, do they still have red in the eye? No. Yes. They do, okay. And then, uh, obviously, I'm partial to Nashville, but they did do a really good job on their logo. Agreed. Considering Agreed. that they went through like a, a horrendous color change in their in their inaugural year, Going yeah, where the mouth yellows. was like literally open like a wide sea. Well, that and they also had the skull. Yeah. Was it the was it the actual predator skull, <laughs> which was just big and boisterous and unnecessary? Alrighty, so that was our video on the NHL logo with only one error. One, one error. error. Comment if you spot any more. Yeah. And subscribe while you're at it. Yeah. Which of us? Which of us is your favorite analyst? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel, this is Chris, and this is Matt, and we will see you guys later. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Where do you live? (laughs) See ya.